The name of our next book is called I Am Picky, written by Kristen Tracy, pictures by Aaron Cron, Confessions of a Fussy Eater. Don't look at me and think I'll eat anything. I will not. I am picky. I've been choosing my whole life. My mom's picky. She only eats fish heads when they're attached to their bony spines. My dad's picky. Squirt, squirt, squirt. He never nibbles on chewy snacks without plenty of mustard. And I'm extra picky. Gulp. Look, our tongues have very particular tastes. Is it tough being this picky? Totally. You've got to reach deep into the pond scum. You've got to dig all the way to the bottom of the compost bin. Crunch, crunch. Tender morsels don't just fall from the sky, except when they do. Some things only taste good together, like bright flowers and crunchy bees. Num, num, num. Magnifique. Because I'm so selective, sometimes I've got to swipe my snacks. Crunch, crunch. I'm a special breed. I want what I want. No matter which den I leave, finding the right snack is always a challenge. I consider myself a seasonal eater. Nothing tastes better than a fresh harvest meal. Chef's kiss. Blah. <coughs> Burp. Ugh. Do you see what I see? Yuck. Bleh. Snails. I am so picky. Don't think you'll ever catch me eating a snail. I will not. Oh. Burp. <coughs> Choosy as I am, I actually have a favorite snack. It's tastier than berries, nuts, insects, small fish, eggs, moldy bread, muskrats, vegetable gardens, tropical fruit, and garbage combined. There it is, delicioso. This breakfast treat requires my sneakiest move. Zoom. What can I say? I'm lucky. My mom's lucky, and my dad's lucky too. <coughs> rough, 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 rough. That's what I call a successful snacking spree. Burp. Wait, oh no, where are my manners? I've eaten all these snacks and I haven't offered to share anything. Let's see what I can put together. For you, meow chow. The end, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story. I want what I want. A picky eater. All right. Thank you for listening.